We're coming from Greenlands Books and Things. As the name suggests, we are on Greenlands in St. Kitts, in Bass State specifically. And we'll be talking tonight to Dr. Robert E. in Chatterton. Welcome to the Marketplace, Dr. Chatterton. Thank you for having us. Our pleasure. Now tell us, how did you get started in this specific business and why the name Greenlands Books and Things? Well, I'm a, an avid reader of books have been for years mm -hmm. and this is not my first bookstore I had one some years ago in Barbados called okay. Business Books mm -hmm. but why Green Dance? We're on Green Dance Pastures so it's easy for people to find us. Right. Um, we have stressed that readers are leaders that's our slogan and we would like to encourage persons of all ages to read. Mm -hmm. Here at Green Dance Books and Things we focus on books by black people about black people. Okay. I have tried to carry as many uh, titles as possible for, uh, by Caribbean authors, mm -hmm. but, but they are authors from outside the Caribbean as well. Okay, okay. Interesting. You said that I never had. I've heard, I did hear about um, this business, but I didn't. I didn't know that that was your primary focus, focusing on black authors. Yes. I understand that you you want to feature certain authors, certain books, certain stories. Yes, here we are featuring books written by persons from St. Kitts and Nevis, mm -hmm. as well as books by persons in the Caribbean. The, the idea is to highlight the achievements of persons of color. And so I have here on display a sample of what we have in the store, and I would like to talk to you about some of sure, them. Sure, go right ahead. Um, give us your first pick. We say that readers are leaders. And so we focus first on the leaders in the Caribbean, uh, that books have been written on them, so we know what the, str the struggles that they went through and how they were able to overcome. Mm -hmm. We have um, V.C. Bird of Antigua, Errol Barrow of Barbados, A.N.R. Robinson of Trinidad, Chedi Jagan from Guyana. Mm -hmm. So we also have a Norman Manley from Jamaica. Right. So we have quite a cross-section mm -hmm. of books on our leaders. And then I would want to focus on the books that are written on the history of St. Kitts. Okay. We have two titles here by Sir Probin Innes. Right. 40 Years of Struggle and Historic Bastille. The tourists are usually interested in Historic Bastille, but I believe that there is information for persons who live on St. Kitts who don't even know some of the things that Absolutely. have happened mm -hmm. about Bastille. Mm -hmm. The book by Clement Bouncing Williams is particularly special because he talks about life in Bastille. Actually, I had a session once on, by authors and he talked about playing on Greenland's pasture. Mm -hmm. And so he mentioned some of that okay. in the book. Okay. So persons who live in, in Greenland, mm -hmm. persons who live around Bastille, could relate. it, could, it will, right. could relate right. to right. it. Mm -hmm. We also carry a, a, an, an interesting one, A Hundred Years of Medicine, by Sir Cuthbert Sebastian okay. and he talks about what medicine was like mm -hmm. in St. Kitts over the years. Wow. He has some pictures that would make us shudder <laughs> as to what <laughs> life was like in the hospital in those early days. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I've tried to cover a cross section. We have um, the book on plants of the of St. Kitts by Dr. Milton Whitaker. Yes, I've heard about that one. Yes, mm -hmm. and he has brought out a second edition which has pictures okay so it makes it even to identify color, the plant it yeah. easy to mm -hmm. identify mm -hmm. the pictures mm -hmm. the, the plants you speak about you know the the idea of a book club and again that would perhaps suggest that if you were to get that started then people would be re-energized into reading but is reading a lost art do you find that we're not reading sufficiently a lot of us like to claim that we know our history but then sometimes we we stumble because we don't always get our facts correct no reading is not a lost art it's just that not as many persons read Persons will say that they prefer to use the technology and read on their Kindle. But I really like to feel the pages when I'm turning. And you, you, I lie down to read, you don't read from the Kindle very well. So persons who really enjoy reading will find that they need to purchase a book. Yeah, I, in, I was doing some research before I came um, on set. And one of the things that one of the authors who is in favor of, of the physical book said that for him, even the smell of the book yes, is yes, an appeal. Yes. And so, yes, she tried, you know, using the Kindle 
and she, she weighed the pros and the cons of both the, the book, the physical book and the Kindle. And in the end, she said she favors the, the book because it's just something about turning the leaves, the leaves smelling yes, the scent, okay. yes. um, the fact that you know you can you, you have the book there and it, it reminds you of of, of, of of the book that this is something that is a, a real living reference tool. Yes, it's, you could you know load it and save it on your Kindle, but she said it's not the same. It certainly is not. It's, it's not the same. So I've, I, it, it's interesting, and, and I like the idea that when you selected the books that you want to focus on, there's there's something, there's a little bit of everything. Yes. Some some political, some about medicine, some about life in Saint Kitts, some about. Um, we even have a cookbook, which is. Which, which deals with the recipes of Senkis Nevis and Anguilla. It was put out many years ago by the Senkis Home Economics Association. Okay. And when I moved to Senkis many years ago, mm -hmm. somebody gave me that. They, don't uh -huh. have, they know I don't like to cook, but <laughs> they gave me that. And I found it very interesting, mm -hmm. some mm -hmm. interesting recipes. Okay. So we have a good cross-section. Um, we also have left out the children mm -hmm. because they need to be encouraged to read. So we have books on people like Rosa Parks, Ella Fitzgerald, Alvin Ailey, mm -hmm. cross-section of persons who have been um, leaders in their own right. When I look at the um, one by Paul Keynes Douglas, yes. he was here a couple of he was, months yes. ago. Mm -hmm. And so I got him to autograph some copies. So I have autographed okay. copies by him, mm -hmm. uh, which covers things like Tanti mm -hmm, and mm -hmm, all that. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. you know, if people come, they'll find yeah. a cross section. A wide cross section, indeed. Yeah, yeah. No, I was curious. Um, the name of your business is Greenland's Books and Things. What, what do the things stand for? <laughs> I'm glad that you asked about the things because here we carry products or articles made by the trainees at Ade's place. Mm -hmm. As you may know, Ade I'm was very my, familiar Ade because was of my Bochy. son. Yes, yes. And the trainees who are there make art and craft. Mm -hmm. So whatever they make that's available, that they want to sell, mm -hmm. I have them here. Oh, okay. And we give the money to them once okay. they're sold. I, I had it to ask later, but since you mentioned it now, that is one of the, the concerns if you will, for want of a better word for now, that people are having. Many people have been saying, suddenly you can't find cards and send kids. Is it, is it your intention to add cards to what, what you're doing we, here? Yeah, we carry cards at Christmas. Mm -hmm. We carry birthday cards. Okay. And we have a few sympathy cards. Okay. But as you know, the trainees work slowly because they are people yes. who are differently yes. able. Yes. So they, we don't have a large volume. Mm -hmm. But as many as they produce, mm -hmm. once they're available, I carry and them And how here. do you find, do they sell well? Not many persons ask. Mm -hmm. You know, if you come in for a book and they, they, they're here on display, there were some Christmas wreaths that they made, so we sold those. Okay. So whatever, whatever mm -hmm. things they mm -hmm. make. Mm -hmm. So this is where the things, things in your made, name yes, um, come made, from. Yeah. As I was, as I said, I was, as I was doing some reading before I came here, um, you know, there was, so many um, discussion points about the fact that community bookstores uh, are closing, are closing, closing yeah. and, um, and, and how they are reinventing themselves or adding stuff like, you know, doing um, coffee, coffee yes, doing a yeah. coffee shop or, or wine, little wine, wine bars. bars. Well, those are things that we have, co we have considered mm -hmm. um, because you want to attract people. Right. Um, I've contacted somebody about local ice cream mm -hmm. because I think that that's yeah, something that could go down well. Yeah. well. So, but it takes a little while to get things yeah, organized. Yeah. Well, I hope that, that you, appearing on our program would even spur some of these activities and spur interest because I've seen a book that I'm going to get before I leave here as well okay. and, um, and I must confess personally that I've not been a good reader since university <laughs> which is quite a shame <laughs> maybe I had too many books to read that's but, what people say but I promise I promise that if you were able to as a matter of fact, I've been also doing some background to get people interested in a book club. Book club, And yes. so if you, if you get to that point before I do, I would certainly be interested in joining one. Well, we, we love to have it. As I said, it's here. It, the room is available. And I suggested two days, mm -hmm. either Wednesday afternoon or 
I could make it Thursday right. or Saturday morning. So okay. whichever day is possible. Mm -hmm. I had even considered trying to do it online. Okay. The, the book club. Yes. But I still I believe that we need that face to face. Yes, the, yes, the yes. interaction. I, we do, we do, know, we, we do. Because we don't mm -hmm. really have time mm -hmm. to stop and stare and you know discuss the things uh, in the book by um Christine Barrow. Uh -huh. I, I things I remember she talks about the um, sore foot and what people used to use yes. to, to, to bandage that <laughs> and the calabash mm -hmm. and things which I think our young people don't know anything about and they ought to know and they ought to know yes. because in hard times we have to resort to these survival things. we have so to survive <laughs> that is why although sometimes things are extremely slow I still persevere mm -hmm. because I believe in what I'm doing yes. I, I have a passion for, for reading, I believe that it gives you an experience which you can't get if you're on a small mm -hmm, island. Mm -hmm. So it helps to broaden your mm -hmm. outlook on life and I would really recommend it anytime I meet young people. Right. I like the fact that you are, you are planning to use technology to, to, to advertise the books because you know, from time to time I come across people in the diaspora on Facebook who would say, um, I hear about this book, but I need to get, how do I get, get it? it? Yes. And, and so I think, I think that, that would be a, um, a, a, a bone in your, in your camp, if you will, because then they don't have to feel excluded. So they, they don't. From, from, I went from to a the information. over Christmas. That's what I, whenever I travel, I spend a lot of time in bookstores. And this lady is the Marcus Garvey bookstore in Oakland, in California. Uh -huh. And she said most of her readers, most of her business people come not from people around. They're people who seek her out because she knows, th they know that she carries those books. Mm. She's been in existence for 65 years. 65 years? It was started years. by her parents. Wow. And she, again, she has the full range, mm -hmm. mainly black Americans. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But so I thought, well, I could carry some black Americans, but there's a lot of Caribbean material that's not known. When you spoke about the home economic, um, the home economic sticks, for instance, I was saying this could easily evolve into a television show so that, you know, using that same book as a reference document, um, yeah, somebody cooking. can then, yeah, go and, and, and do some of these recipes because many of our children don't even know. I mean, we are fast food generation now. That is so, so true. <laughs> so these young people who were born maybe after the 1980s have not a clue how maybe to cook a pot of rice and peas or maybe how to make some goat water. So really we are, we are widening the gap, the generation gap, if our young people don't, no, don't take know, up these right. books and yes. read. And There's one here called Caribbean Christmas by Christopher Vanier. Mm -hmm. He's somebody who left St. Kitts a long I time that ago. Name, yeah. And he writes tales from St. Kitts, what Christmas was like back mm -hmm, then. Mm -hmm. You know, I mentioned it to somebody and they said, really? That's what they used to do? And I, here, here am I explaining to I them. I know, could you imagine? <laughs> they, it, it hadn't crossed their yeah. mind to even ask somebody what was Christmas like. Yes, you yes, know? yes. Yes, I, I, I really want this conversation to, as I say, jumpstart people into seeing the need for reading. Um, interestingly, when I listened, well, I think just a few weeks ago, we had something on the, the Buckley's riot, the yes, commemoration. Yes, yes. And I'm always intrigued by the fact that it's the Rastafarians who are behind, who are behind you know, making it's sure we so don't forget. Yes, yeah. And, and um, it almost appears that they are more interested in, in the history that, of the yeah, island that, than we yeah, are. Yes, yeah, yeah. We, 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 we tend not to want to look back because in some cases I think people are a little embarrassed that but, it happened, but, why? but it happened, <laughs> exactly. embarrassed or not, it, it mm -hmm, happened. Mm -hmm. But I, I also carry things f of people who are current, like Usain Bolt. Right. I think he's somebody that young people can, can identify with, mm -hmm, Muhammad mm -hmm. Ali, and even look, reading how they developed to be the kinds of mm -hmm, characters that mm -hmm. they are would be, I would think, um, informative and helpful to our young people. People are making the case about books. And, and versus the Kindle. Will it, will it talk about the difference in price, you know, the fact that um, it's more portable, you could load a whole heap of books and not lose them and so on and so forth. But um, is there, 
are these some of these books still available? Because you did say that there's always people read for you. Yeah, that's yeah, what is important. Okay, yeah. But um, we, we, are our we, Caribbean authors? Some of them. I would say not as many. Mm -hmm. But I, I also have an arrangement with a bookstore in a book dealer in Barbados mm -hmm. where I can get sell you a token mm -hmm. and you can download the books okay so, again, so one or the other will, yeah, yeah. She, she focuses again on caribbean authors Brilliant. Mm -hmm. so we you know mm -hmm. i can i can get them once the writers have put them in the kindle form mm -hmm. but our, our authors are a little reluctant to do this yeah i think there's a belief that they will sell less books oh, okay but that's not true mm -hmm. because there's a a, a, a something which prevents people from just downloading them to their friends okay so you know you, you're protected okay. in, in the number of things okay. that we will sell okay in 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 wrapping up give, give us a broad view of exactly where you are tell us again where you are um what you what what is the main appeal of of coming here and seeing and touching and flipping the leaves of these books and what they can, and what people generally can get from reading a book. <laughs> when we are ha we're focusing on Caribbean writers, f people of color, who outside of the outside of the Caribbean, mm -hmm. who have written about black people. Yes. So that we can get a sense of who we are, we can look back, get the history, the culture. We can look forward. We know what is current, mm -hmm, what, what, mm -hmm. cur what is currently happening, as well as to be able to pass on. And this is one of the things I wanted to mention, that older folk can come as well, okay. and they can use the books to have a conversation with their, their grandchildren. grandchildren. Yes. Because I have one or two mm -hmm. persons who bring their grandchildren, okay. so they buy the books and idea. they're going to read yes, with them. Yes. So you can bridge that mm -hmm, gap, mm -hmm. that generation gap. We are based on Greenlands Park. I think everybody knows where a lot of activity happens politically and so, not so parking. <laughs> and parking is not a problem we're open from 10 until 5 monday to thursday from 10 until 6 on fridays and on saturdays we open from 10 until 2 so you can drop in even on the weekend when you're um, not at work and browse take indicate your interest so if there's something that we don't have we will try to get I think this was this was such an educational conversation and so absorbing. I guess you suddenly my passion has been transferred. <laughs> so I I want to be the first to put my hand up to say I pledge publicly that I would begin to read more. In fact I'm gonna walk away with a book because I see one um behind me that I want to purchase and to to say thank you. For, for this initiative and I, I'm sure that this would arouse a lot of curiosity and hopefully people begin to come through the door in steady streams and make it a part of their everyday living because books are about life, about living 